kick things off with an amazing budget-friendly DIY is our DIY diva, Leanna Lair Perot. I'm so happy you're here. Hi, girl. <laughs> so good to have you. Now, she's going to show us how and why an interior door makeover is just the thing to give your house a fresh new look for as little as $20. $20. $20. Am I reading that right? You this sure are. Really good idea, LA, but how do we get this done? Let's talk about how it started. Well, I think doors to start with in, in an interior are a great opportunity, like a blank canvas, to mm -hmm. add some real detail in, into your decor. In fact, I think we should think about making our door part of our decor. Okay. And it's really a missed opportunity architecturally if we don't highlight them and just leave them white. And I would even go as far as to say that the interior door, painting them a color even, makes them the new accent wall. That's a nice way to yeah, look at it. Because really. they're your interior doors. I mean, exterior as well. For sure. Exterior is a very important yes. uh, element to the exterior of a home. But yeah. even painting the inside of your exterior door right. can make a really big difference in how we perceive the interior. It's really kind of like the cherry on top of the, the sundae yes. that just makes the space look more elevated. And outside of color, there's a couple of other things to consider with the door. So I love adding a splash of color. We'll talk about that today. They all look great. But also the profile of your door. Mm -hmm. if, uh, if you're working with a six panel, a shaker door, mm -hmm. whatever that may be, or flat panel door, which I'm going to talk about updating today, and also the hardware. So those are three considerations, color, profile, hardware, that you can absolutely, on a budget, consider each of those and do some simple, very inexpensive updates that create a wow statement in your home. Okay. So what I wanted to first share, because it's Thrifty Tuesday, is that all of these doors started off looking like this. Okay. They were all used flat panel doors, and because it's Thrifty Tuesday, yeah. I scored all four doors for free on an online did. marketplace. I thought you were going to say, like, in your neighbor's <laughs> front yard. That would have no, been a little like more <laughs> convenient just to grab them out. And it wouldn't be the first time that I took garbage from my neighbor's front yards. <laughs> they know me very well. Um, but no, these I found online and they were, they were in like okay shape yeah. structurally, but just they had so much potential. So I wanted to show ways that if you are dealing with just a flat slab panel door mm -hmm. and you're thinking, I'm going to chuck them to get something a little fancy dancier. We can go fancy dancy for a very frugal. Yeah, don't chuck it. Including to LA. the hardware. Yes. The hardware here is the exact same knob in all these doors. We're going to talk about that. So let's start with oh. this first door, which I've turned into more of a contemporary shaker. Yeah. And I've done this so affordably by using MDF wood. So I use quarter inch. It's nice and flexible, very like cuts like butter on a saw. Mm -hmm. But little tip, it comes in four by eight sheets for about $9 at the home improvement store. Yeah. One sheet will easily do you two doors. So five bucks in materials for one door. So you can do both sides. Um, but if you have your measurements, have the home improvement store cut, They'll do cut it. them They'll for cut you. It for exactly. You. So yeah. I cut everything into five inch strips. So you can see here, so, uh, attached it with using no more nails. Yeah. So really Is that easy. basically glue? It's basically glue. It's okay. like a construction adhesive yeah. for sure. So no nails on this. A little bit of caulking to just clean up the edges. But mm -hmm. the one thing that I'm most excited about yeah. is the update that I did to the hardware. So again, I mentioned that the doorknob, this is the, the before right here. Uh, the two-tone, not so pretty. Right. And you know, a lot of people would just say, I'll go out and I'll update, I'll buy new hardware. Yeah. New hardware, $50 easily for one knob yeah. times many, many doors. Right. Uh, in this case, I picked up a can of metallic spray paint meant for metal, meant yep. for metal hardware, universal spray paint, and gave it this oil bronze look. But then I also took a piece of that MDF and I cut, I just drilled some four holes in it and made this plate oh, that I put so right over smart. top, sprayed it with the same metallic paint finish. Yeah. So it looks like a metal plate. All of a sudden, this looks like a very expensive she piece fooled of me. hardware. I thought that right? was metal. That's excellent. And I should note too, that I also sprayed the tops of the screw heads. Right. So, cause you want it's them the to be that same oil of bronze all. finish. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So let's that move on to the second door. The pretty yellow This is one. a little more cottage chic. Yeah. Love the yellow. Again, great pop of color in any interior. This, I just used some very simple uh, molding, wood trim molding. Yep. Eight foot runs of these ran me about $8 per uh, piece of wood. Okay. Used two of them. Miter sawed uh, for the corners, just to mm -hmm. make it really nice and clean and simple. And then what I did in the interior, you can see the beadboard, 
It's just paintable wallpaper. See, that's what I didn't know how right? you did that. That's so smart. So the wallpaper roll was about $38. Yeah. The whole roll will do you about six doors. Yeah. So really affordable that way. And again, gave it this really beautiful satin finish in this gorgeous yellow. And the same knob, again, universal spray paint. Yeah. But in this case, I used a hammered metal finish. So it gives it a little bit more of a casual rustic look, which fits really nicely with the cottage it's vibe. It's perfect. That's so, really? I want you to actually do like my house. Right. Because you can do molding in, <laughs> on your walls Absolutely. in your house. Like that Absolutely. is such a, that's, that's such a low cost way to do it. Okay, now, now this pretty lady. Last but not least, this is probably the simplest yeah. one, but I think actually the most dramatic. Mm -hmm. Number one, the color gives us the boldness. Yeah. Having a really nice ebony black color is rich, it's bold, and it ties in so nicely with so many interiors where people are doing black window trims. Yes. So this is a great opportunity to have that wow factor. But the moldings themselves were incredibly affordable. Mm -hmm. This is just really simple, like one inch stripping. Again, using no more nails, but for the cuts of this, I just used a chop saw. Even if you've just got a little hand saw, yeah. no miters involved in this. So you can lay out your pattern with it. But I wanted to also point out the hardware that I actually went with a high gloss black. Mm -hmm. So the, the sheen is just a little bit different. We've got the satin paint finish on the door, but then the high gloss black. But I love how the handle just kind of disappears into the door yeah. and lets the architectural detail really sing. This Simple. is really, really good. We can't Simple. have a thrifty Tuesday without you because oh. you know your stuff. Well, thank you. Come on. Incredible as always. You can find all of her DIY instructions up on our website, cityline.tv.